Hi guys, it's Rachel, and I'm gonna be posting two videos today, and then I'm gonna after I, I'm gonna go to the pool, and then I'm gonna post more in the next couple of days. Um, so first thing, we're just gonna do two kind of tag things, um, like the ten products you regret buying. So I'm gonna do that one first. I have them all in this little bag. Some of them I I'm to prove preface this, I guess, preface, preface, um, with some of them I didn't actually buy myself, but I either got from a company or I got for free and a swap, like a little extra that I just wouldn't buy ever, because it doesn't really, it's not really good. Well, this I bought, it's a green, I don't wear foundation or concealer anymore, if you can tell, breaking out though, because I've been trying to really not clog my pores at all. Um, but I've been wearing blush, but, okay. Um, this is the green concealer by NYC. It doesn't really do anything in the first place. Like, I don't know. I'm really red, but I feel like it just doesn't do anything. It makes me exactly the same. So that's number one. Then another thing for NYC. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but I regret getting it. I could have got something else for free. Because I had that coupon. Like, it looks horrible and, and it like stains so I don't know maybe in another video I'll show you I guess I'll just use it in like if I ever do like a 50s video or something I don't know another thing this was this is from Jessie's Girl it like leaks everywhere at the sides and just it's kind of pointless it's gross on my lips it's like ugh I regret this one. It looks like, ugh, I don't like it. Next, I love half, the, the other half is really honestly pointless. Like look, you have to dig to get color. It's the hip eyeshadow you in flamboyant. This gold is gorgeous, but the purple, there's no pigmentation. At all. Look. Oof. But the gold is nice. I still wouldn't. I regret buying this still. I could have gotten another hit, a duo from them. That's much better. Next is this pop glitter sticks crayon liner. It doesn't really work. I don't know. It just it's like scratchy. It like hurts, so I don't put that on my eye. It's right there. And the glitter is kind of like gross glitter. Then I regret this wave line, fluid line. I mean, it's an okay color, but it's really, really sheer. It's really sheer. Like, if you're just putting it on like that as a base, it's fine. But it's still really sheer. Um, like if you wanted to ever use this as an eyeliner, which I tried to do multiple times, it just doesn't come out looking good. Okay. Sorry if my hair is a mess, because I just woke up. <laughs> um, next, my mom got this for me, but yeah, from Vegas. This is a pro color electric coral. It's gorgeous, but... How many times are I really ever going to wear a coral eyeshadow? Then I need a whole pigment sword. So maybe when I have my contest, which will be soon, at the end of the summer when I make all my money, because um, I really don't have any right now, or when I hit 2,000 subscribers, either one, um, I'm going to be having contests and maybe I'll include like a sample, a really big sample of this in it. I have three more. This mineralized can finish first of all because I don't wear powder or anything anymore really. This is in light medium and it's way too dark for me so my mom just uses it. It's like way too dark. And it makes me look cakey. I used to love it but I mm, love that palette. Then two things from this palette. Woodwinked. It's really pretty on, but 
on my eye. It just looks so weird. Here's this one. Like, I know people love it, but... Sorry about the background. Um, like, it's a gorgeous color, but it just looks weird on me. Like... I would love to use it all over my lid like some people can or in the crease, but it just makes me look really washed out. And I just don't like it on me. But it's a gorgeous color. Yes. Ignore my mom in the background. Um, and then Honey Lust eyeshadow. I got this really early on. I think I got it like when I first got my first palette. It's like the pre-magnetized one. I'm not, I don't feel like getting it out. And it's really chunky glitters. This is my last product, by the way. And I just... It's just like, ugh, frustrating to work with. I start, I'm sorry if you see my dogs in there. Like, it's just frustrating. And it looks bad, too, on me. But yeah, that's my 10 products. Benny, come here. Ben, come here. Well, that's my dog drinking. Um, yeah, those are my 10 products that I regret. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be making another video right now. The five products that I can't live without. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.